I'm Kate. Welcome to the very first episode of Kate Creates. Today, we're going to be painting ceramic coffee mugs to personalize them and however you see fit. I'm basically referring to a pin that I saw where they took a ceramic coffee mug, just like this one, and they put stickers on it um, to spell out the word mom. It was really cute and would have made a really great Mother's Day gift. However, it's not Mother's Day right now and I just want to make one for myself. So um, I'm going to pick out whatever letters I want and I suggest you do the same. Um, after we stick them on the coffee mug, we're going to use regular acrylic paints to paint over the letters. I know, that's ridiculous. You never put regular acrylic paints on a ceramic coffee mug, right? I've actually purchased an all-purpose sealer and it's supposed to make it way harder for the stuff to chip off afterwards, which is why you usually don't put acrylic paints on this kind of surface because it's not porous, it's not going to absorb like cloth wood or paper or um, canvas, you know, because it's really smooth, it's thick, it's been sealed already. Another thing you usually do when you're painting a ceramic surface is you're usually supposed to put it in the oven afterwards um, for about 30 minutes, usually at like 325 degrees, but we're not doing that either because that wasn't in the pin and these aren't enamel paints. If you would rather go that route, you know, you can purchase enamel paints at most crafting stores and um, the instructions are just on the back of them. They're just a little more expensive and they're not, um, they weren't part of that pin, which is what I'm trying to do. Make sure you pick things like letters that are flat. There are so many sticker options at craft stores and a lot of them are 3D because people are really into embellishing right now. I will be spelling the word hot today because it's hot copy. Supplies you will need today is just pick out whatever kind of acrylic paints you would like. Um, make sure that you're going to be getting an all-purpose sealer. This is by Americana. It was only a couple dollars. Um, you can get your ceramic mug at you know a store that just sells mugs, or if you want a plain white one like I've got here, you can get them. I got this one at Michaels. You will need a paintbrush, and then you will need round sponge brushes to do the design I'm doing. Um, these sponge brushes are just found like in the acry acrylic paint aisle with the paints. Stickers I got from the scrapbooking department at your local crafting store. These are also from Michaels. You will need a cup of water and a surface to put your paint on, like paper plate. Step one is we're going to put our stickers on the cup. So always make sure that your sticker pack has enough letters to spell exactly what you want to say. So either have it in mind when you go buy them or have a pack with a whole lot of stickers in it. Because sometimes they just randomly decide to only give you one E and that's preposterous because a lot of words have E's in them. So we just finished up one. I've got all my letters H-O-T right on the front of this coffee mug. So our next step will be to um, actually put the paint on it. We're going to be putting all the paint on the paper plate first so that we have somewhere to dab our brushes. Um, and um, we want to remember that as we do this, you want to use all your lighter colors first because it is a lot easier to cover up the lighter colors with the darker colors if you want to overlap stuff than it is to put like a whole glob of like dark blue or black or something and then cover that up with like a yellow or a light pink. Step two and all your paint is now on the cup. So step three will be to peel the stickers off and reveal your awesome word. So um, I'm just gonna use my fingernails. I mean, you can use whatever you want to peel off the stickers. You know, maybe tweezers might be a little bit easier. Also give you a little bit more control. Um, the one thing we're just gonna try and avoid is um, trying to just rip those stickers off really fast because you know, the paint isn't sealed yet. So it could come off of the cup. So we just want to make sure we do it nice and carefully so we can just try and, you know, avoid having extra paint, you know, chips just flaking off everywhere. Um, unless you want like a cool, like, weird effect. 
So, I mean, embrace your mistakes because they could just be really cool in the end. stickers and as you probably noticed I had a little mishap with the O. Some of the paint decided to stay on there. See this little guy was supposed to stay on my cup and he didn't. He stayed with the sticker but that's okay. It's still beautiful because I made it. That is what crafting is all about. Okay so in our final step we're going to take the sealer and we're going to paint it all over the mug and what that will do is it will help prevent the paint from chipping. Now that we're done creating custom mugs, let me talk to you about the way all my episodes are going to end. You have the opportunity to win this craft. Go to Instagram and find me. That's at Kate and Creates. I had to stick my middle initial in there somewhere because guess what? Kate Creates is a super popular name. Who would have known? For this specific mug, you have until December 31st to go like my picture for a chance to win it. That's right. Like the photo of the mug and you have a chance at winning it. You could take home this very special Kate created it for you, kind of, you know, prize or present, whatever. Um, I know it's probably just my family and friends. Thanks guys, it'd be a lot easier on shipping if I could just hand it to you in person. Like my video, subscribe to this channel, and let me know in the comments below exactly what you want to see me craft next time, and who knows, maybe you could win that craft too. Bye guys!